Adam Kent is a great place to live because there's lots of space to play. Safe, loving, fun. It's family friendly and it has lots of activities for families to do. It's wonderful. Everyone is kind and just a good place to live. It's important to have a strategic plan because if you don't know where you're going, you'll never get there. I want a Chatham-Kent that's strong, that's a global competitor, and that people are proud and excited to call home. In 2035, I'd love to see Chatham-Kent capitalizing off its amazing agricultural industry. We're all about agriculture now, and 20 years from now, we're still gonna have the land. Our farmers and our manufacturers have always been innovative, and we're gonna have to continue to be innovative in order to sustain ourselves and to succeed. I would want uh, to know that we have the uh, economic base celebrating entrepreneurship. In 2035, I will be 75 years old, and as a senior citizen, I will want to see an age-friendly community. I want to see a bustling community full of tourism. Uh, I want to see that exploited in our community. I think it's such an unpolished gem that uh, we need to work on that. In 20 years, I think Chatham-Kent should be a place that's safe to live, interesting, and a relaxed atmosphere that allows you to enjoy everything Chatham-Kent has to offer. In 2035, I'll be retired, so I hope as a resident of Chatham-Kent that emergency services personnel continue to work together to keep our community safe. We have so many assets to offer in this community, and 20 years from now, we're building it to make it a better place. I really hope, though, that Chatham-Kent holds on to that quaint feeling that it has. I mean, the Chatham-Kent that I grew up in was welcoming and great place to be as a kid, so I hope that I have the opportunity to raise kids in that same setting. The types of jobs I'd like to see are employment opportunities that are relevant to our community. The type of jobs that I'd like to see in the future, especially with Chatham-Kent, uh, is jobs that are taught alongside classes that are being taught in our community, give everybody a better chance at education and equal opportunity for work. To me, economic prosperity means that everyone in Chatham-Kent has enough. There's enough jobs, there are enough wages, there's enough affordable housing, everybody's got what they need to be successful. In the future, I want to see more engineering um, and more technology-based jobs in Chatham. A lot more farming jobs because as the years progress, the amount of farmers is getting smaller, but the population is skyrocketing. You know, we see, we've seen all kinds of technological advances in the last 20 years, but in the next 20 years, we're gonna, that's going to exponentially grow. I think we need to make sure we have a, an environment where kids have the available uh, uh, learning space to be able to become everything that they can be. The jobs I'd like to see in the future probably don't exist today. We have different cultures. Chatham Ken is helpful because there's a lot of charities. The people are so giving here. It doesn't matter uh, what you put a call out for. We always have someone to lend a helping hand and volunteer. Chatham Kent's my home. It's been my home ever since I was born. And it's the people, our, our unique characters. Uh, we're all from different backgrounds. We're all differently made. Uh, I think that is a special part of Chatham Kent, is the uniqueness of each individual community and the passion that they have for the communities. Chatham Kent, for me personally, is a great place to live because even when I was younger, starting out, uh, it would be local bands, places like that. Chatham Kent really respects the arts, so it gives people a good place to showcase their talent, whether it be music or the arts specifically. I would love to see us celebrate our different cultures by having a large multicultural festival, celebrating different uh, foods. Where all the different countries showcase their, their clothes, their food, their history. And I think we need something like that because we need, uh, all of us need to understand and embrace each other more and more. In Chatham Kent, I feel safe in the community because we have very good doctors to keep us healthy and safe. Same with our nurses. Health and safety starts at home, so I think a community that takes care of itself and works together to make a, a community vibrant and safe is an important foundation for any community. Chatham Kent can promote a healthy and safe community by having low-cost fruit and vegetables. We need to continue to invest in infrastructure like parks and trails. Chatham Kent is a safe community, so we'd like to encourage everyone, young and old, get outside, get active, stay healthy. I hope that Chatham Kent will be sustainable. I think the environmental challenges now and in the future will, I think first of all, will be water. 
and waste is also going to be a huge factor not only in just in general waste but food waste we, we just can't keep dumping things onto our dump sites so we have to figure out a way how to deal with waste. I also hope that Chatham-Kent will be a responsible community that takes care of the earth and the people around them. I think environmental challenges is, is, is many things. It's proper planning of land. It's making sure that we have uh, renewable energy. Um, we're really just renting some time from our kids and our grandkids right now and we need to make sure that we're making the right decisions today so that we're leaving uh, Chatham-Kent to them in a great place in 2035. Three words I would use to describe Chatham-Kent would be diversity, community, opportunity. Agriculture, innovation, and partnerships. Productive, prosperous, and proud. Peaceful, quiet, family-oriented, and affordable. Healthy, safe. Clean. I would have to say prosperous, diversified, healthy. Fun, jobs, diversity. I think that would make a great Chatham-Kent 20 years from now. And uh, I look forward to what uh, the future looks like. Mm -hmm.